Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everybody to the Ilmfeed Global Quiz. I'm your host Talha Ghannam and I represent the Quran Club, a app that is there to get you reading the Quran together across the world. Alhamdulillah. We are so, so, so excited to have this quiz for you, inshallah. And we think you're going to, inshallah, really enjoy this. Okay, so. What you need in front of you is one of these. I'm sure you all have one. It's called the Quran, and I'm sure you're all reading it a lot this month at the moment. Because this quiz is not like any other quiz. This quiz is an interactive quiz. Oops. So, this quiz is an interactive quiz, which means you're going to need the Quran in front of you, and you're going to need to use it and engage in it, and so on and so forth. So that we can see exactly what you're doing, inshallah. And of course, we're going to be giving prizes to those who are coming first. Now, for those who are joining with us, I'm just going to put the code up very quickly. Oh, right there, you can see it at the bottom. It says, right there, <laughs> myquiz.org forward slash I forward slash 713170. This quiz is not like any other quiz because you can answer it. As you're going along, you can type in your answers. And the prizes, well, let's have a look. We have, for first place, we have the Quran Galaxy Lamp. As though it says Galaxy there for the pun. And the second prize is going to be the Quran Moon Lamp. And the third is going to be the Quran Earth Lamp. These are all provided courtesy of Quranco.uk. There isn't a dot there, that is the number name, the Quranco.uk. And of course, they are amazing in that they provided us with these resources, alhamdulillah. You can see all their website here, you can look through their products, you can see it. Exactly how amazing these prizes are and what they offer, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So, for those of you who are joining us, welcome. You've got the code here at the bottom of the screen, myquiz.org forward slash I forward slash 713170. Now, as I said, this quiz is not like any other quiz. This quiz is an interactive quiz. But, and I'll say this again, you need one of these. Because the way this quiz is going to work is you're going to open the Quran and find the answers. Okay? My hope is that at the end of this quiz, you are reading the Quran. Even if you read one letter, then you get 10 rewards for that. And then Ramadan multiplies it by 70, you get 700 rewards. Imagine if all of you are reading that Quran and engaging, inshallah. We've got 149 people with us. There is only space for 250 in total. So I can see a lot of you are waiting to join and ready to join, alhamdulillah. We've got, of course, the Quran Club quiz coming up. But I wanted to talk to you a bit about the Quran Club Challenge. Now, for those of you who've not heard of this, I'm going to show you right now. So watch this amazing video and then I'll explain how it works. Mom! Mom! Can you please sign me up for the Quran Club Challenge this Ramadan? Please! Please! Quran Club Challenge? What's yeah. that? It's this cool new feature on the Quran Club app. I have to read Quran every single day. And you give me a reward for every day I do it. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Let's have a look. Once I've read enough days, I can buy a cool gift from their shop for me. You can even track my progress from your app to see how much I've read. Mom, please can you sign us up? I will sign you up today. Sign your kids up to the Quran Club Challenge today and nurture them to love reading Quran. Alhamdulillah. That for you is the Quran Club Challenge. We're really excited. We've just launched this product. We've been testing it for about a year and it's been so successful. Alhamdulillah, the children reading with us, many of whom you saw in that video, they've been reading every single day in the Quran. And the way it works is you're making the Quran fun for your children. You give them a target to read each day and every day they do it, they get a little bit of money in that they build it up, they build it up, they build it up and then hopefully they can buy those prizes that they want. Imagine they associate the Quran with giving them prizes, giving them gifts. For those of you wondering, how do I sign up to this? Well, of course, you can sign up by going to the Quran Club website, www.quranclub.org and just to show you again on the uh, website as well, we'll kind of go very quickly into here. And we have, oops, we'll bring that up for you shortly. So we'll go to, 
the Quran Club website. There you go, Pro not brought too late. And you can see it all here and you can join now. This is an app on your phone. And of course, you can download it on your phone and you can show it there as well. Alhamdulillah. So, for those of you just joining, we're about to start in a few minutes. Go onto this website, myquiz.org forward slash I forward slash 713170. And inshallah, we're going to be starting. Now, there is an important thing to remember, which is there is a lag between when I talk and when you see the question. It's going to be about 10 to 20 seconds depending on your internet connection. Now this new way of doing it is you will see the question on your phone and you'll be able to answer the question on your phone live. Now of course you will get points for every correct question that you get and you will also get points if you are first, if you answer that first compared to everyone else inshallah. We have the prizes, as I showed before, which we will be judging based on how well you are answering and how quick you are answering, inshallah. So, I hope you're ready because we're going to start the Quran Club quiz in 3, 2, 1. Let's go, inshallah. So, I always do a countdown before the countdown. That's my hope. It's <laughs> no more thing that I always do. So we mentioned the prizes. Inshallah, you win. Some of you are going to buy one on the website. Mashallah. But we want you to win us. We want to see who's winners. Anas, Huda, Zishan are all filling it in. Give us a shout out. Drop us a message on YouTube if you are seeing these and if you wanted to get an answer. So we're going to be looking out and picking out names for those who give us or request a shout out. So, Alhamdulillah. So, I hope you've seen that's how it works. That, of course, you don't get any points for because if you, whatever your answer is, inshallah, you get the rewards. And, of course, we talked about the Quran Club Challenge. Just let us know, what do you think of that? Is it something that you want to do? Is it something that you love? We all want to love the Quran. We've got a team of our people. Drop us a message on the YouTube chat. If you get a chance, we can answer those. If you do only have one device, one of the nice things about this is you can watch the stream and answer the questions at the same time. How did you find the Quran Club Challenge? Did you like it? Or is it not for you? Let us know, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Good to see so many of you are seeing that and how it works, of course, inshallah. So, this first round is called the Quran Index. Just to explain very quickly, you need to have a Qur'an with you. As I mentioned before, you need to have it open to the index page, which is always going to be the last page or second to last page on your Mus'haf, which is like this. You all know. We're going to be asking you questions based on this. And you can find your answers there. I'll let that continue just so you can follow those instructions. The question is, is how well do you know your surahs? Okay, we're going to be seeing who's going to be the best in answering this. So good to see so many of you taking place, uh, taking part, alhamdulillah. So, we are ready to get going. This first, next question is going to be the first one that is going to be for points. So, let's go. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, you all said alhamdulillah. Except one person said, no, I don't. Who's the one person that is a spoiled sport in Ramadan? La hawla la quwwata la billah. Let's go. Oops. Oh no, I pressed that too soon. Apologies. I've already messed up one round. La hawla la. I'm so sorry. I seem to have clicked that too early. So how many surahs are there in the 30th juz? Subhanallah, for those of you who've been part of the Quran quiz before, I'm notorious with doing bugs because you have to manage so many different things at the same time. For those of you who are joining a bit late, you've got the code. It's now to my... It's now to my that side, whichever side that is. There you go. You've got the code there. It says myquiz.org forward slash I forward slash 713170. Apologies for that for the, uh, error. Uh, I didn't see the question. I'd already skipped to the next one. But you've got 45 seconds to answer it. Because there's a lag, you're going to get some time as well. How many surahs are there in the 30th juzah? So let's see, open the index page. You can check your answer. It's not cheating. It's not cheating. It's exactly what we want you to do. We want you to be finding the answers in the Quran. And the answer is, of course, 37. Just about half of you, 44% of you got that right, mashallah. We've got Ismail Z in number one position with Sa'ad B and Khadija in number two and number three. But this can change at any point. Which surah means the clear proof? Is it Al-Haqqa? Is it Fussilat? Is it Shura? Or is it Al-Bayyina? 
Which surah means the clear proof? So, I hope you're enjoying this quiz. It's a very different quiz. You can find this. You can go to your Quran index. You can search. That's not cheating. It's fine. Of course, if you know the answer, you answer it quicker. Alhamdulillah. But the key thing here is we want you to learn. We want to build your connection with the Quran. Because anyone can take part in this quiz. If you're loving this quiz, remember, share this YouTube link with friends and family. Let's get as many people taking part as possible, inshallah. Send it out. Share it. Make sure people are joining in this quiz. Of course, the answer is Al-Bayyina. And wow, 66% of you getting that right, alhamdulillah. For those of you who aren't, make sure you open your Qur'an and check the answer, check the translation. How many surahs are named after a prophet other than the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Now, of course, there are many surahs named after the Prophet and various names of the Prophet. That's why we removed, we don't want to include the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Other than the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu how many surahs are there? Is it four, five, six or seven? Remember, check your index, go through it, see how many you can find in there. Tasmiya, Maryam, Zara, Shahid, Muhammad. It's so good to see so many people answering, mashallah. I hope you're enjoying it. We do have my friend who wants to just say a quick word. Hello, hello. Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Hey, good to see you taking part in the quiz. Um, okay, but, uh, nice Alvin to see you. Only 34% of them got right at that Alvin. What do you think? There's a bit of a shortage. A lot of people got that wrong, unfortunately. But next question, how many surahs are named after animals? So how many surahs are named after the animals? Is it four, five, six or seven? So look through your list of surah names. See how many of them have animal names. Now Ismail, mashallah, is still in number one position. But there's so many of you who've got 19 right. Now, some questions are going to be scored heavier than others. They get more points than others. Khadija, Nizi, Zishan, and Ishaq, and Yunus, and Yusuf. MashaAllah, all of you in the top positions. For those of you who uh, didn't have the higher points, then inshallah, you'll get them for the next ones, inshallah. But we need to wait for them to slip up. MashaAllah, we've got many of you, subhanAllah, not quite getting this right. Remember, have the Qur'an in front of you and check your answers as well. So, how many surahs would be classified as Medinan? How many surahs would be classified as a Medinan surah? Is it 23, 30, 43 or 57? Remember, you can count them. It's more important to get it right than to get it fast. Okay, this really, I've done this quiz so many times with different, different audiences. It's always the ones who get all of them right that win. It doesn't matter so much about time. Time is only there to really differentiate the best. But for many of us, just getting it right is the most important thing, alhamdulillah. For those of you who are joining late, who've just opened up to the Ilm Feed stream, you can get the, I've always pointed the wrong way, you can get the link from there. It's myquran.org forward slash i forward slash 713170. You can join in right now and take part in this quiz. It is, of course, 23 surahs, which are Medinan. The rest of them, we've paused it slightly just to kind of catch our breath. Woo! Alhamdulillah. Khadija still in first place. Oh, well, only, only two people have got every single answer right. See that what I mean? Look, let's look at this, right? Only two people have got every single answer right that you can see on the right. The more you can do, the better, inshallah. So make sure you take your time. Make sure you get your Quran in front of you. Make sure you answer these correctly. Okay? Let's carry on. So, next question, which is the next round that we're going to be doing. How is that? Tell us how we find it. This is, of course, just a filler round. The next one's going to be finding the verse. Now, this round is going to be slightly difficult if you don't have a Quran. Okay? So, we need you. I'm going to pause this just very quickly. You can continue answering in a second. You need a Quran in front of you. You're going to see a verse, an ayah, and you need to tell me which surah that ayah is in. Now, you will have four options, sometimes five options, which means you can jump straight to those verses. And it will tell you the verse number as well. It will say this is verse two of which surah, okay, which makes it very easy. So you need to take your time, find the surah, find the verse, and let us know as well, okay? So let's carry on. 
Many of you saying that was hard or very hard. Some of you saying very easy. Well, let's see. Let's see how everyone gets on. So, apparently Alvin had some technical difficulties, didn't quite join in the quiz. But let's see for this next one. Of course, it's ayah, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ This is the first ayah of which surah? Is it Al-Ikhlas, Al-Falaq, Al-Nas, Al-Kafirun or Al-Jinn? Surah قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ is which verse of which surah? 174 answers coming in. Those of you who are joining late, remember you can still join us. You will obviously have lost the points from the previous questions, but you can join us from now and carry on with us. Madam Qamar, Zainab, good to see so many people taking part. You've got a bit more time for this round. We've given you 60 seconds because it does involve searching the Quran. Remember, get your children involved. It's a family activity. Get your children with you. Get the family with you. Open the Quran. Work as a team. And of course, we will be sending these prizes for people who take part and for the winners as well. Who's going to catch up Khadija and Ishaq in first and second place? We don't know. Let's see. So the answer for this is, of course, Surah Al-Ikhlas and wow, look at that, 98.1% of you got it right. So you all know how it works? Well, this is going to get a bit harder now. Let's see for the next round. It says, Alif Lam Mim. This is the first verse of which surah? Now, this is, remember, to click all the correct answers. It's not just one, it could be multiple. So you have to click every one in which this applies to. Alhamdulillah. Which verse is this for the first, the beginning of the surah? Is it Alif Lam Mim? Let's see who's been reading the Quran. Now, if you're not sure, you can open to each of these surahs and check it. You can go to Al Baqarah, check. Al Rum, check. Luqman, check. Al Tawbah, check. Al Imran, check. And then see which one you get, okay? Make sure you go through it step by step, check your answers, and get what you need from there, inshallah. So many people answering, got 184 responses. Let's see how many. The lobby is apparently full. Subhanallah. Those of you who are in the waiting room, join the quiz and make sure you can click through. Subhanallah. We only restricted this because we had to. So let's quickly review those answers. It is, of course, Al Baqarah, which has Alif Lam Mim at the beginning. Everyone knows that one. But remember, there are other answers as well. Surah Al-Rum, Alif Lam Mim, Ghulibat Al-Rum. Right? And Alif Lam Mim in the beginning of Surah Al-Luqman. And of course, Surah Al-Imran. Surah Al-Tawbah is the only one that does not begin with Alif Lam Mim. Okay? So, a bit more challenging. There's lots of change here. Khadija has disappeared. Hussein, um, Umar Muhammad, Hassan, and Usman Muhammad, MashaAllah, uh, right there in the top position, sharing first place. Let's see who's going to get the prizes. And let's just remind you very quickly, the prizes, a Qur'an galaxy lamp, mashallah, and a Qur'an moon lamp, and a Qur'an earth lamp in first, second, and third position. All of these look amazing, and I'm sure you're all going to be vying to win those, inshallah. Let's carry on with the quiz. Let us know what you're thinking. Are you enjoying this? Are you able to do it? The next ayah, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ This is the second verse of which surah? It's the second verse of which surah? So open to each of these surahs. Al-Anfal, Al-An'am, Al-Ma'idah, and Al-Tawbah. Sorry. Open to each one of these and click which of them it is. Is it the first, second, third or fourth ayah in this. Let's see how you do. Let's see how you can get along, inshallah. Remember, if you've joined us late, you can open the Quran and find the answers. If you're unable to access the quiz, it is a limit that this software has on only 250 people taking part, but you can still take part in your home. You can still do it with your family. You can still check that you get the right answer as well. Alhamdulillah. Because the main thing is to learn and to get you reading the Quran. Because for every letter you read, you will get a reward, a 10 rewards times by 70 for Ramadan. Of course, the answer is Surah Al-Anfal. 56% of you got that right, mashallah. Well done. The next one. 
أليس ذلك بقادر على أن يحيي الموتى This is the last verse of which surah This is the last verse of which surah We've got al-mursalat, al-jinn, al-qiyama, al-mulk and al-qalam This is the final verse of which surah Now these are all surahs in the 29th chapter towards the end of the Quran They are all roughly next to each other You can quickly check Remember, those who are in top position, first place, are the ones who are getting the most right. It's not about getting the quickest answer. Split, take your time, make sure you get the right answer, and you can rise to the top, inshallah. Let's see how you are all getting on. We have to hide the banner because unfortunately, the spaces are full. But inshallah, you can still play along, you can still learn, you can still enjoy it. And it's good to see so many people with us, alhamdulillah. So the answer is, of course, al-qiyamah, mashallah, with 71% of you getting that right. Good to see you so familiar with the Qur'an. That's really impressive. It really warms the heart, subhanAllah. The last one in this round is going to be, فَوَقَاهُمُ اللَّهُ شَرَّ ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمِ وَلَقَاهُمْ نَظْرَةً وَسُرُورًا In Surah Al-Insan, what verse number is this? So this is Surah 76. Is he's right there, one of the first to answer. Hassan, Hussein, and Umar Muhammad and Usman Muhammad still there tying in first place. The num- name that shows near the top is the one that will be answering the quickest, I believe. But let's see what happens because Khadija was right there at the top and then, subhanAllah, she fell and <laughs> disappeared. Let's see where she's gone. But mashallah, I hope you're all enjoying this. I hope you're having fun. If you like this, let us know. Message, ilm feed, message the Quran Club. Let us know how you're finding this, inshallah. We I love doing the Quran quiz. It's one of our favorite things to do. And inshallah, you really enjoy it as well. So let's see. How did you answer this? This verse, of course, is verse 11. 70% of you getting that right. Remember, there's a time limit, there's a 45 second time limit that you have to answer this within. So make sure you're doing it in time. In fact, it's 60 seconds for this round. And this last ayah that we're going to see for this round is Illa rahmatan minna wa mata'an ila heen. In Surah Yaseen, what verse number is this? Illa rahmatan minna wa mata'an ila heen. MashaAllah, Hassan and Hussein, Named after the, the grandchildren of the Prophet وسلم, our beloved Imam al Hassan, Imam al Hussein. May Allah make you like them, mashallah. These are tremendous human beings, and inshallah, if you can be like them, then Allah Jal would have given you so much in life. And of course, we've got Umar and Uthman, mashallah. You couldn't make these names up. These are the greatest of companions, mashallah. Allah bless you all. Illa rahmatan minna wa mata'an ila heen. Where is this in Surah Yasin? What is the verse number? Now you've got a number of options there. Let's see if you can get the correct answer. Remember, there is a time limit. There is unfortunately only uh, 60 seconds in this particular round. Let's see how many of you can answer. It is, of course, 74% of you got that right, which is verse 44. Alhamdulillah. Moving on to the next one. So... Next one, which of these surahs start with the word Qul? Click all that apply. Which surah, which of these surahs start with the word Qul? We had a word around similar to this before, but this is of course slightly different. Let's see how you get on. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. It's amazing, isn't it? Imagine any other book where people are are this engaged in the detail. Imagine people reading... Any other book, the Torah, the Psalms, the Injil, any book that people know into that much detail, even some of the modern books that people have like a cult-like following, like Harry, Harry Potter, how many would know how many words, how, which is where, which is... People don't do that. That's the miracle of the Qur'an, subhanAllah. All of you are here gathered today, reading the Qur'an, finding these answers and getting it. I just saw Lavisha and Harith with us, mashallah. Good to see regulars that I've seen from before. I hear Isa Beg is with us as well, mashallah. Assalamualaikum Isa Beg. Abu Nusayba as well, mashallah. Remember, there are multiple answers here and multiple people getting them right. It is, of course, Al Akhlas, Al Nas, Al Kafirun, and Al Jinn. Good to see so many people getting those. Right, so we've got those prizes. I'm going to pause it very briefly just to remind you of the prizes that we have. 
which is of course the Quran galaxy lamp and of course we have the Quran moon lamp and the Quran earth lamp all of these are amazing prizes something I'm hoping you all will want to have within your room and it reads Quran to you I mean it's very good generous of QuranCo.uk to provide these and we're excited to be giving these prizes away as well MashaAllah Many of you still hopeful you're going to win. Now, if you can't win it and you don't win it, you can still go to the website we mentioned there at the bottom and you can earn that prize as well, inshallah. Now, a quick word from our sponsors as well, the Quran Club Challenge. For those of you who missed the video at the beginning, we're going to play it again and then we'll explain it briefly what it is. Mom! Mom! Can you please sign me up for the Quran Club Challenge this Ramadan? Please! Please! Quran Club Challenge? What's yeah. that? It's this cool new feature in the Quran Club app. I have to read Quran every single day. And you give me a reward for every day I do it. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Let's have a look. Once I've read enough days, I can buy a cool gift from the shop for me. You can even track my progress from your app to see how much I've read. Mom, please can you sign this up? I will sign you up today. Sign your kids up to the Quran Club Challenge today and nurture them to love reading Quran. Alhamdulillah. So the Quran Club Challenge is of course a wonderful new project that we've got. We've just launched it on the app. It's available. You download the Quran Club app on your Apple or Android phone. Go into the store now, type in Quran Club, download the app. You can get your children to love the Quran. Let's see how many of you want your children to love the Quran. Who doesn't want the children to love the Quran? You can go on and you can get your children to read and challenge them to read every single day. And inshallah, they will, of course, get the reward of reading the Quran and they will build that habit. Imagine they build a habit to learn and to read the Quran every single day. You as a parent will be rewarded for that. Mashallah, so many of you want to love the Quran. You can download it on that website and you can go on the Apple Android. So it's all free. And you just only have to pay for the money that you put in for your children. Alhamdulillah, it's a beautiful idea and a beautiful thing that we wanted to get going. We also wanted to thank our fellow colleagues at the Pilgrim Quiz. We're just going to very quickly show you their poster, which is of course the Ramadan quiz, which is going to be taking place tomorrow. They've got some prizes as well. It's £250 Amazon voucher for first place. £100 for second place, £50 and for third, fourth and fifth place. They're going to take place tomorrow. You can sign up on the ramadanquiz.co.uk. Have a look at their website. Check out their products, inshallah, and join in the quiz. We love these quizzes and we want to always support people who are doing these quizzes. Let us know if you're going to be joining. Let's see who's going to be joining that one too. Wow, 100% of you already clicking the answer. Mashallah. We love these quizzes. Anything that gets you connected to this deen in a fun way that makes this fun, it's brilliant. And we at the Quran Club, at Ilmfeed, we love this. And we want people to be reading and connected to their religion. It doesn't matter who it is. So long as you're connecting to Allah is important, inshallah. MashaAllah. And look, it's 97% of you said you're going to join that too. Hopefully, we can see great winners there as well. And then finally, we just wanted to mention a quick word from our sponsors as well from Class Tutor Online. They are a tuition service. They offer lessons from £8 an hour for those of you who are in the UK. If you're not in the UK, we do have students in Nigeria. They have students in Dubai and other places abroad. They offer maths, English and science. You can go on their website www.classtutor.online and you can register. They really do the best. They set up to service and help people, inshallah. If you can't do it now, you can do it in the future. But we want to help people to, we want to really educate the community, educate Muslims. And these are doing some fantastic work, alhamdulillah. So have a look at their product as well, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. We hope you're enjoying the quiz. You can use this as a time to catch your breath in the 
Ramadan vibe. How did you find that last round? The, obviously, that's not the quiz. We're talking about the, the find the verse round. But it'd be interesting to see how you all found that one. We're about to start the next one. This next one is an understanding round. We're going to pause it shortly. I'll just give you a moment to fill in the verse. Now, this round is slightly different because, of course, the Quran is about understanding the Quran. It's not just about reading it. It's about making sure you understand what you're reading because you want to. This is the books. These are the words of God. Imagine. Allah is talking to you. Do anyone know what he's saying? So we're going to pull up this screen. And um, give me a moment. Alhamdulillah, we're back. Apologies about that. We always get some technical difficulties. But uh, let me just copy my camera over as well. Just give me one moment. Oops. There we go, we're back, alhamdulillah. Apologies, those of you who have been with us before, you always know there's always technical difficulties because nothing is perfect except Allah Azza wa Jal. Alhamdulillah, you've got to manage all these things and there's things that are going to be slightly wrong. So, this next round is a understanding round and the way this works is we have Surah Ar-Rahman, of course, a, fo- a popular favourite, people love to listen, people very often listen to this surah, but how many of us understand this Qur'an? Now this is the translation by Dr. Musharraf Hussain. It's an incredible translation and one I'd recommend reading. It's very good for kids, very simple English and that's what he designed it for. What you need to do is you're going to listen to what I read to you now and you need to make notes. You need to remember what I say and not what I say, rather what Allah just says in the Quran in the translation of this English. Then we're going to ask you some questions based on how well you were listening, inshallah. So let's go. Allah just says, Surah Ar-Rahman, the most kind. In the name of Allah, the most ki- the kind, the caring. His favors come from the heavens. It is, it is Ar-Rahman who taught the beloved messenger, the majestic Quran. He created human beings and taught them the arts of communication. The sun and the moon orbit in set paths. Plants and trees bow before him. He raised the sky and established the scales of justice. Do not disturb the scales of justice. Give due weight and measure. Don't shortchange one another. His favours are everywhere on earth. He created the earth for living creatures, fruits and date trees with sheathed bunches, husked grains and fragrant flowers. So which favours of your Lord will you deny? So this is the famous ayah, فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ is verse 13. So which of the favours of your Lord will you deny? He created human beings from oven-baked clay and created jinn from smokeless flame. So which favours of your Lord will you deny? He is Lord of the two rising and settings. So which of favours of your Lord would you deny? His favours also lie in the sea. He combined the sea water and fresh water. There is an invisible barrier between them which stops them mixing. So which favours of your Lord would you deny? Pearls, large and small, come from there. 
So which favours of your Lord would you deny? The ships sail on the seas, looming high like mountains. So which favours of your Lord will you deny? How Allah is involved in human life. All things on heaven and all his, sorry, all things on earth will perish. All that will remain is your Lord, the majestic and the giver of honour. So which favours of your Lord will you deny? All that is in the heavens and the earth depends on him. Every day he appears in wondrous ways. So which favours of your Lord will you deny? We will give you attention, humans and jinn. So which favours of your Lord will you deny? Alhamdulillah. We hope you took notes. We hope you made notes on what we just discussed. Because of course we're going to be giving you a question now. We're going to be checking your knowledge to see how well you understood that. So all the questions were based on what I read to you. It's not general knowledge. It's not about giving general answers for other things. But it's about giving the specific answers that we need for here. Alhamdulillah. So let's carry on. You should now see the thing live on your phone. Now there is of course a lag. So there will always be a bit of a time lapse so that you can see the question. Make sure you're looking at the question on your phone and answering it in time inshallah. So, are you ready? What is the thing mentioned that people keep denying? His miracles, his signs, his favours or his messengers? What is it that people keep denying? Who is listening? Who is writing down? Who is noting? Now if you didn't, you can open the translation, you can check. That's the beauty of this quiz. There's no cheating. It's all about learning. We're learning about the Quran here. Now, if you joined us late, you can. We'll put the banner up very briefly in case anyone wants to join. But there's usually, actually, unfortunately, uh, there is a limit on how many people can join. But you can go to myquiz.org forward slash i forward slash seven one three one seven zero, and you can, of course, answer these questions as we're doing them, and you can fill it in with us. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, 80% of you almost got that answer correct. And we've still got the top four unfazed, unchanged, right at the top, MashaAllah. What did Allah mention that he taught? The pen, the gospels, mankind, or the Quran? Which, what did Allah mention that he taught? Now remember, make sure you get your answers correct. But then after that, you can see Umar has just risen here to number second. Because he answered it quicker than maybe the others in that round. Hassan is the fastest, but of course he's getting them right as well, which is the most important thing. So what did Allah mention that he taught? Was it the pen, the gospels, mankind, and the Quran? Don't be a smart aleck and say, oh, Allah taught everything. Of course he did. We're not saying he didn't. We're asking, what did Allah mention in this verse that he taught? And of course the answer is the Quran. Allam al Quran, right? So he taught the Quran. And a few of you put mankind. He didn't teach mankind. He said he created mankind, of course, in this ayah. So what did Allah say not to disturb? The scales, the angels, the jinn, or the seas? What did Allah say not to disturb? The scales, the angels, the jinn, or the seas? MashaAllah. Good to see so many people with us. So many answering, mashaAllah. We've got Abu Nusayba with us, mashaAllah. Good to see Abu Nusayba taking part. Give us a shout out, drop us a message on the Ilm feed, live feed on YouTube, and let us know if you're taking part and how you're finding it. We've got, I think, Big Tooth. I know, I recognize that name, mashaAllah. I think that's Brother Yasin's kids. Salaam alaikum, good to see you as well, mashaAllah. 72% of you got that right. It is, of course, the scales. Alhamdulillah. Let us know how you're finding this quiz. Is it enjoyable? Is it fun? See, let us know what you're thinking. The ships sail on seas like what? Turbulent winds, majestic beasts, looming mountains, or scary monsters? What was mentioned in the verse about how the ships are sailing? Is it turbulent winds? Majestic beasts, looming mountains, or scary monsters. Alhamdulillah. It's incredible how Allah describes these 
details within the surah and how Allah goes into these things, subhanAllah, it's incredible. We have so much to be grateful to Allah Azza wa But look how much beauty there is in understanding the Qur'an as well. And of course, the ships sail on seas like looming mountains. Right? Allah Azza wa mentions this in the second uh, page of Surah Al-Imran. Alhamdulillah. Next one. What comes from the sea as mentioned in this surah? Is it big fish, large pearls, salt or gins? Again, we're not looking to the so someone being smart and saying, well, Allah creates everything. Allah does it. We're not asking that. We're asking about what comes in the Quran. And remember, if you don't know the answer, you can check. Get your answer correct from the Quran. I'm pretty sure Hassan and Umar and Usman and Hussein, they're getting the right answer. But let's see how everyone else does. That's what we want to know. MashaAllah, we can see loads of people taking part. We've actually got over 250 people in this forum. We had to close the doors, unfortunately, because there's a limit. <coughs> it is, of course, large pearls. يخرج منهم اللؤلؤ والمرجان Right? Allah Jal takes out from the sea these large pearls, subhanAllah. In this surah, which creatures does Allah give the descriptions of? Angels? humans, animals, and jinn. Now we're looking at the passage we read. So we want the correct answer according to the passage that we read. Okay? MashaAllah. This is a really tight race for the top prizes. But remember, it's not just about the top prizes. It's about having fun. It's about learning. If you come away from this having learned something, that's amazing. We've got Bob the Builder is on 129 points, MashaAllah. Well done, Bob the Builder. We've got Saf Baf, MashaAllah. Sumeya. Asha Abdus Salam, Salam Alaikum. We've got Yusuf, Maruf, Madam is with us. We've got a generic Madam, MashaAllah. It's good to see so many people with us taking part. And it's good fun, Alhamdulillah. And of course, the answer is humans and jinn. And we see 43 and 41% of you getting that right, MashaAllah. So, how did you find that round? Let us know if you found it easy, hard. It's been interesting to see the difficulties changing. This next round is what we call a trivia round. The trivia round is going to be general questions on the Quran. This is the only one in which is going to be slightly different to the previous ones that we mentioned. Okay, So we're going to be looking at general questions to test your general knowledge. So this is going to really sift people through, inshallah. Let's see if we can differentiate between the top four. Many of you found that easy, alhamdulillah. Hopefully you learned something and you gained an understanding and appreciation of the Qur'an. Next question, name the Prophet whose name is mentioned and discussed most in the Qur'an. Is it Isa alayhi salam, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, Musa or Ibrahim? And remember the key thing here is his name is mentioned, okay? It's not just reference to, but rather it's his name. I can tell you, or maybe we'll discuss it after. But uh, this is something that could potentially be a trick question if you if you misunderstood the question. So which is, which prophet is named most in the Quran? And mashallah, most of you getting that right with 71%. It is of course Musa alayhi salam. Now just a quick thing here. The Prophet ﷺ is referred to often in the Quran as Ya ayyuhal nabi, ya ayyuhal rasul. And Qul Allahu Qul is referring to the Prophet Sallallahu of course. So all of these things are references to the Prophet Sallallahu But by name, he's only mentioned a few times. And Musa is mentioned more often. Which is actually an honor for the Prophet Sallallahu Because he's not mentioned by name directly in the Qur'an. According to the Qur'an, what other name is given to the city of Yathrib? The city of Medina. Is it Yathrib, Tayba, Medina or Ta'if? Now all of these... Oh, some of not all of them. Some of them have names that are associated with the city of Medina. But which one is referenced in the Quran? Let's see if you can get this answer correct. Really tough to differentiate between the top four. They're not budging. Inshallah, we can uh, share the gift. I don't know if you're brothers or not. <laughs> Mashallah, but it seems like you're similar names. And there's of course Yathrib, and you can. Uh, it's bonus points for yourselves if you can find the ayah in which that's mentioned. We didn't include that because it might be a bit challenging in the quiz. Which is the surah 
Your chapter in the Quran that does not begin with the Basmala, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Which surah does not begin with the Basmala? Is it Tawbah, Al Fatiha, Al Infitar, Yusuf, or Maryam? Wow, Osman and Umar are really getting a heads up on the speed. They're jumping ahead of the others, mashallah. Which is the surah that does not start with the Basmala? The Hussein family are with us. Good to see, mashallah. Asad is with us. I see Asha Abdul Salam, mashallah. Good to see. It is, of course, Surah the Tawbah. It starts straight away with Bara'atun min Allah. Many of you know that. That's a relatively simple question. Alhamdulillah. Which is the only surah in the Quran that contains two sajdas? Apologies for the uh, missing Esther. But which is the only surah in the Quran that contains two sajdas? Is it Surah Sajda, Surah Hajj, Surah Baqara, or Surah Al Alaq? Which is the only Surah to contain two Sajdas? Alhamdulillah. It's always sad when you're coming up to the end of the questions. We're on question 33. But Alhamdulillah, it's good to have so many of you with us and make dua for us in this blessed month of Ramadan. Make dua for, for myself, Talha, Quran Club, Umfid. Make sure that Allah accepts it. Now, of course, a quick thing here, it isn't, of course, Surah Sajda. Whilst it may give the impression that it is because of the name, it is actually Surah Al-Hajj. There are two Sajdas within that Surah, Alhamdulillah. Al-Baqarah, whilst being the longest Surah, doesn't have a single Sajda, SubhanAllah. So which of these people are mentioned by name in the Qur'an? Pharaoh, Dawood, Abu Lahab, Haman, or Walid ibn Mughira? Which of these are mentioned by name in the Qur'an? Alhamdulillah. Now, being mentioned in the Quran can be a great honor or it can in fact also be a great humiliation. Some of these people are some of the worst enemies of Allah Azzawajal, whilst others are some of the closest people to Allah Azzawajal. Mentioned or not mentioned in the Quran can be a blessing or a uh, otherwise, subhanAllah. Now, of course, Pharaoh is not mentioned by name because this was a bit of a trick question to catch people out. Pharaoh is a title. It's like saying king, right? Dawood is a name. Abu Lahab is a name, as is Haman. But Pharaoh is not a name. So subhanAllah, if you put that down, that would be incorrect. And it caught a lot of people out there. 28% is one of the highest ones. Who was the prophet who was sent to the people of Madian? Who was the prophet that was sent to the people of Madian? Someone's asking, where's Bob the Builder and where's the Minion? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you can raise your names and let us know who you are. But mashallah, good to see. The top tiers aren't really changing, subhanAllah. We've got a solid performance here from the top four. Really, really impressive. Umar in particular, he's really risen to come to first place, answering the quickest as well. So who is the Prophet who was sent to the people of Madian? It is, of course, Shu'aib alayhi salam. 67.9% of you getting that right, mashallah. Very well done. So, we've got our final responses here. I wanted to mention to you something very important, which is the Ilmfeed village. Now, all of us, of course, know about the month of Ramadan as the month of giving. Ilmfeed are trying to build a village to help the people in Syria. They've raised 14,452. Pounds. But I think we can all raise much, much more. This is, of course, done through LaunchGood. You can go onto the website LaunchGood and find Ilmfeed Village and you can find the thing. I'm going to hit refresh. Let me do this. I'm going to hit refresh and I'm going to see if this number goes up and how much it goes up by. So I'm going to give you all a minute whilst I'm going to come back and I'm going to leave it now. I'm going to come back and I'm going to see does that go up as well. SubhanAllah. We have the prizes of first, second and third place with the Qur'an, sponsored by the Qur'an Co. Just to show you their prizes again and just to show you their website, we have the wonderful donation that they've given us. And uh, we just want to, that's the Qur'an Club Challenge. And the Qur'an website is qur'anco.uk. So if, you don't, if you're not fortunate enough to win today, you can still go on the website and you can buy them. 
Whilst we're here, we can mention the Quran Club Challenge. Go onto the website, download the app. The app is a free Quran app. It's a wonderful Quran app. You can download it, you can read Quran on there, and inshallah, you can benefit massively. Join now, and you take into this page, and you can see all the descriptions and how it works, etc. And then finally, we wanted to give a big shout out to the Ramadan quiz. They are kindly supporting us to run this uh, program and we love to and we really like people who are running Islamic activity for Muslims. We wanted to offer this product to be able to go and get people out there and get people enjoying and studying their faith. I'm sure your children have maybe learned more than they would do in other places and other classes in talks that they don't listen to. But because they're engaging with this, Alhamdulillah, perhaps they've learned a lot more as a result. So the link is launchgood.com forward slash Elm Feed Village. Let's hit refresh. Let's see how many of you went on this website and actually donated right now. Let's press refresh and see. Oh no, it's only gone up by £100. I want it to go up by a lot more. Let's see how many of you can go on. You can give it. It's a really worthy cause. They're turning these tents into villages. The living conditions. These Syrian people, subhanAllah, have been living for so long in the most difficult conditions. It's time they have some form of suitable shelter for them to be able to live in and then be able to be there, inshaAllah. So, alhamdulillah, we'll go back to the quiz. Let's go back and share the quiz with you all, inshaAllah. So it's good to see many of you hoping that you're going to win, inshallah. I accidentally pressed next again as well, but that's good to know that so many of you hopefully will win. If not, we've got the Quran Co. website you can buy it from. And finally, just a quick mention of our other sponsors as well, which is Class Tutor Online. You can go on their website. They give the first lesson for free. So you can actually try a lesson out for free, see how you find it. If you enjoy the lesson, you can decide if you want to subscribe from there. It is geared to people in the UK, which is where we're based. But of course, if you're abroad, you can still join. And we do have students who are abroad as well. Alhamdulillah. So let's see. And hopefully you can join. We all want the best education for our children. And maybe we can do this in the future as well, inshallah. But we thank them for supporting this project. MashaAllah, the winner is Omar Muhammad 789 and then Usman Muhammad in second place and Hassan everyone give him a takbir Allahu Akbar takbir Allahu Akbar takbir Allahu Akbar mashallah wonderful to see such competition look at the time they were answering in 13 minutes 56 you can see the reason why they rose to the top Hussein such a strong effort but subhanallah slightly a fall short of the top three positions. Those in the top three, we can contact the Ilmfeed team and we will inshallah be posting this out to you. No matter where you finished, you're all winners because you just gained more reward in front of Allah and you're going to be rising up to the top of the Jannah. By every letter that you read, you're going up. We hope you enjoyed the quiz. We hope you benefited from it. We hope you learned something today. If you enjoyed this quiz, then don't forget to let us know Send us a message, drop it on feed the message. This was a really, really good idea. We want more of it. And inshallah, we'll try and maybe provide this as a more regular thing, inshallah, for us to learn from. I've been your host, Tabha Ghannam. I'm from the Quran Club, which you can download for. We've also got Ilmfeed and the brothers there who are supporting us with this stream. Jazakallah khair for joining us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.